Hey, what's going on, friends and family? My name's Sky Linton. Today, we are going to be talking about the best upcoming free-to-play games for 2018. Now, to be clear, these are going to be online multiplayer titles. Uh, generally, when you type in free-to-play, that's what you're looking for is online free-to-play games. Yeah, anyway, so these are games that we know about ahead of time, and they should all release as free-to-play, and they should be like in an open beta sort of state in 2018. That might not be the case, and there might be some games that are announced like tomorrow. I don't know, but I'm doing my best here in February, the start of the year. I want to talk about what's coming for the rest of the year. So yeah, I love free-to-play games. Hopefully you do too, and hopefully these 10 games, I got some honorable mentions in there as well, will keep that hype alive. All right, guys, starting off our list, we have a game called Blade Symphony. Now, this was a balletic melee weapon fighting game. It's kind of hard to describe. It was a 3D fighter. I don't know exactly how I can form my adjectives or really just words, period, to describe the sensation of playing this game, but I can tell you it was super difficult. And it was also really niche. Being a PC fighter, that's already more of a smaller audience. And then the way it played, totally different from anything else out there ever. So I do like myself some new sword fighting or just weapon fighting type of, well, fighters. So Soul Calibur, For Honor, even stuff like Battle Right. I play all of these games, there's so many that you guys have no idea about, but I can just say, if you like stuff like Dark Souls PvP, you know, that's, a, that's a big one, right? That we all know about. Well, then you might like Blade Symphony. Just you play like more of the dexterous weapons in Dark Souls or maybe, you know, some of the faster characters in Soul Calibur, For Honor, and then bring that over and put them all into one game. That's kind of Blade Symphony. It's actually got some really unique mechanics with its combos and the way the game flows. I enjoyed it. I just kind of wish I had more players and with free to play, I think it's going to have a second win. So hopefully you guys will give it a shot. All right, next up, we have a really weird mobile game called Magis. I don't know if I should really call it weird. It's still unique, but we're seeing some more games come out like this. So essentially it's like Ingress, but it's like magical. And really, it's very similar and comparable to Pokemon Go mixed with Harry Potter. And there's actually this weird gimmick where you can buy a wand from the dudes and use that to cast spells. But basically, I'm really promoting this game because I think it's gonna take the ideas or the dream, the fantasy of what Pokemon Go could have been and maybe a little bit of Ingress some of these other failed AR MMOs, and I think it's going to work better, at least in here. So it's going to be more cooperative. It's going to be more competitive. I mean, there's supposed to be like big dragons and stuff that show up and you have to actually fight with your friends to beat them, true raids. And then there's supposed to be PVP and there's supposed to be like you going around collecting all these weird items and regions for potions. I think it's just really interesting. So basically the dream, it's supposed to be Pokemon Go and everything that was promised with that game, but better with some PVP truly, really slapped in there. I think it's going to be cute. I don't know if you want to go all magic quest up on the Santa Monica Pier, go ahead and do that if you want to buy the wand, but it is also going to be a free to play app and its open beta is starting pretty freaking soon. All right, moving on through the list here at number eight, we have Quake Champions. Now, this is a game that a lot of you guys already got into for free. If you were already in the beta and you downloaded it from the Bethesda launcher, then you should be able to play Quake as well for free. Now, a lot of us got a lot of heroes and champions for free. I don't know if that's going to be the case when the game launches, but it is going to launch as sort of a tiered free to play game, as in you can play for free. You get one champion for free. I don't know if you're going to get others, if you're going to be able to earn them through loot boxes or whatever later, but you can then buy individual champions later. So this is something kind of similar to Killer Instinct did this, a few other titles, but in the end, Quake Champions is a 1v1 focused game, so you can still just jump in and play with one champion. It is, I think, in my opinion, a fair monetization scheme. Of course, we have to wait and see when the game launches, yeah, you know, if you do unlock champions, how expensive they are, but at the moment, it's actually pretty freaking fair. So I can't wait to, you know, share this whenever it goes live, free to play. We can all jump in and have some fun. I mean, it's a harder game. Don't get me wrong, but still, I think it's a lot of fun. And next up, we have a game that I'm kind of on the fence. Is this free to play? Like, can anybody give me a citation? Is Hunt Showdown actually free to play? Because I did a little bit of research and all I got was basically like this game used to be known under a different name and it was supposed to be free to play then, but it was also supposed to be kind of like a Left 4 Dead style game. Now it's actually a PVEVP, so player versus environment versus player battle royale game. 
which is weird. So it's teams of people fighting uh, against each other, but they're also trying to kill monsters inside of the zone. I'm not sure how this is all going to work out, and I've heard that there's some issues with optimization. I don't know how far along this game is. It should be coming out this year. It might not, though, but I think with the trend of Battle Royale games, we really need something to mix up, and there are some that are coming out that are ingenious, I think, but Hunt Showdown has me super excited because Dude, I love jungling and MOBAs. I love PvEVP, period. And put that into Battle Royale. Hell yes, dude. I am excited. All right, guys, halfway on our list, we have Bless Online. So I'm excited for this. I'm a little bit weary. I would put it way higher, but it had previous incarnations that were actually shut down because its combat just wasn't up to quality standards. But at the same time, I think that's a reason to kind of get excited for it, too. I know it's kind of mixed bag there, but because the company does care about quality and they want the game to succeed and be something that really lasts for a while, they remade the game and they're now publishing it to the West. Hopefully it's not going to be pay to win. I know in a lot of ways it's not that original and to me I'm getting kind of vibes of like Final Fantasy 14 or 11. It seems Final Fantasy-ish um, mixed in maybe with some World of Warcraft-y sort of element. It just doesn't seem too insane like the next on our list. But at the same time, I think I'm hoping it's going to be an incredibly solid MMO. And I think we all kind of want that. But yeah, as I said, next on the list, we have something that is really freaking out there, and that is AIR, or A-I-R, Ascent Infinite Realms. Now, this is from the makers of Terra, as well as partnering with Black Desert Peoples. I can kind of see potentially some reused assets. I can see some reused ideas, but overall, overwhelmingly, I think this game is going in a original direction. Like, it's really focused on air, or that's the dream, right? Is that it is focused on those air battles, so I want to catch myself there. It might not be in the end. Uh, with steampunk atmosphere, there's been some other steampunk games, but, you know, mechanically, will it deliver or not? Will it really focus on this really unique ideas, or is it just all, you know, kind of coloring it, you know, inside the lines, and it's just still the usual stuff? It just kind of looks a little bit different. I don't know. Uh, there's going to probably be some optimization issues based on the trailers and based on my experience with both Black Desert and Terra. We will see in the end, but... Hey, at least it, it's attempting something a little bit different, and that's always good in such a drown genre. By moving through this list, Conqueror's Blade, I think, is gonna slap you in the face. I think you haven't heard of this game. Hopefully you have, though. I think it's something to get excited about. It is somewhat similar to another game that I covered previously called Tiger Knight Empire War. And maybe you played the game Kingdom Under Fire? It kind of should be something similar to that, but online, uh, multiplayer. So Conqueror's Blade should focus on you as a, a general of sorts. I don't know if you've ever played a Warriors type of game, but you play as a bigger, larger, more intimidating character uh, that you can also control an army. So it's like a real-time army. RTS in some ways, but it's still an action melee PvP game. Uh, there's going to probably be like, you know, throwing spears, bows, just like there is in Tiger Knight Empire War. Uh, but, the, you know, the mix of combat of action and RTS and the blend of that is really special in these type of games. And these games tend to be so niche. And frankly, Tiger Knight has mixed reviews right now. Conqueror's Blade is coming out looking fresh. It looks really good graphically. As long as it runs good, you know, with the net code, then this is going to knock some people's freaking socks off. All right, number two on new free to play games for 2018, I'm going to slap in Dauntless. Now, Monster Hunter World is kind of freaking amazing. I know I put did some negative videos on it, but really, I can only do one negative video on that game. It's it's pretty just freaking solid. But Dauntless is actually pretty good, too. Now, I might be able to talk about where it could go wrong here and there as it develops, because I did get early access when it was really early in access. But later this year, I think it's going to be more feature complete. I think it's going to be harder to really talk down about the game, even though there is such insane monstrous competition with Monster Hunter and the task is daunting, but I believe Dauntless can rise up to that because it actually has some really cool ideas. I think its art style is really solid and it's starting to run better and better and better every single time I log in every update. And as long as they keep adding in the content, which being a free to play game, it is guaranteed to do. I think there is going to be a reason to keep your eyes on Dauntless even after it launches for years to come. All right, guys, well, I normally don't do this, but here we go. We got some honorable mentions. Bros, I love free-to-play games. My sisters, 
Free games are the future. I truly believe it. I just love that social dynamic. So here's a couple of free games that I want to shout out here. So the first one is going to be Steam Birds Alliance, which kind of looks like a cutie sort of bullet heli IO type of game. But yeah, Steam Birds Alliance is from Spry Fox, a company that I think I've liked or loved every single one of their games. Truly charming. They actually have some really cool free to play mobile games. And I, I really like Triple Town myself. And that's probably my favorite. Triple Town is amazing. But Steam Birds Alliance, bullet hell, you know, airplanes. It looks like there's PVE, it might be PVE VP. Regardless, it looks like a cute game. I have to give it a shout out. Next up, if we're going to be talking about social endeavors, social type of games, VR Chat is the way to go. Now, I don't know if you would consider it a proper game, and it's actually early access, so maybe it could have been put into the list, but I didn't want to put stuff that's, you know, you've, you've been playing it for a while, like Paladins or something like that. I wanted to put really brand new stuff, and also, is this a game? I don't know, but it also has to be in this video. It just has to be. VR Chat is the new sexy, so if you haven't tried it, it's, it, it's not all cancer. I mean... <laughs> it's fun, okay? Just just give it a shot. And finally, for honorable mentions, actually, I have so many honorable mentions. There's so many little, tiny, cute free-to-play games, and there's so many I.O. games that I'm just going to go ahead and plug one of my other videos, Top 10 I.O. Games of this year that I played. I had so much fun with these games. And also, I just want to shout out like my future videos, like look forward to Top 10 3D I.O. Games and stuff like that. I'm still going to be covering free-to-play games, all these different genres. I got you coming, but now you want to hear who's number one. Yep, ladies and gentlemen, our number one is going to be the two Fortnite games. That is Fortnite Save the World and Fortnite Battle Royale. If you played Battle Royale, which you should have, uh, because if you're not, I don't, you're, you're absolutely actually missing out on something historic. But if you have played it, you know that it's just a completely solid game that just works. And a genre that generally doesn't work, looking at you, PUBG, that is something fantastic. But not only that, even if it was, you know, PUBG completely working solidly and there's all these other BR games, if they already were released, the fact of the matter is that Fortnite BR has wacky, ridiculous weapons. It's got a really solid map design and overall the pacing, the arcade styling and the building mechanics and the unique game flow is, in my opinion, uncontested. I do love the Battle Royale genre as a whole, but in my opinion, I know I did this list not too long ago, but I gotta put it at number one. I don't know where it was before, probably number two, but dude, it's it's so good right now. But also, you gotta look forward to Fortnite Save the World, which is a PvE wave horde survival with crafting type of game that's also gonna become, I think, really engrossing. I think a lot of people are gonna consider these games a one-two punch. You know, if you wanna do PvP and if you wanna do PvE, both of these games are gonna have some content for you. If you love looting and shooting, PvE, PvP, doesn't matter, Fortnite has you covered. But that's it guys, that is my top 10 new free-to-play games for 2018. Again, something might sneak up on me, maybe I completely forgot or didn't see a trailer or something. It's possible, I try to do my research, but these are, you know, kind of community sort of videos. This is a community here, so shout it out in the comments friends and family, and let us know what you are hyped about, what we should be excited for. Either way, guys, I'm going to be playing a lot of these. I'm going to be covering them. New videos coming out, so thanks to the Patreons and donators and those who just like and comment and stuff, you know, that, that really participate in this community. Thanks so much. We got to give you a round of applause. If you guys want to look in the links down below, join the Discord, join the conversation, click those affiliate links, whatever. I would love it. I appreciate it. But regardless, thanks so much for putting those eyeballs on this video and my future videos that I got coming, a whole lot of them, especially if you like free-to-play online games. Much love, friends and family. My name's Skylint. I'll see you in the next one.